Welcome back. <laughs> I've received more toys. Oh no. So now my uh, I've got skins for my phone. Little camo thing. It's not very interesting, to be honest. Whatever. And uh, look, 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 look. I got my shoes on. My new shoes. So I already own these shoes, but um, <laughs> I bought another pair of them Just because, like, I always want to have these shoes. Always. So I got another pair. So you're gonna wall mount these ones, or? No, I'm just gonna wear one and wear the other one, you know. But they should last a very long time. So by that time, I'll have, you know, whatever. It's done. It's all done. It's definitely not your last pair. Can we do? Can we do like an incentive thing where like, if you buy another pair of shoes, you have to give me hundred dollars. I'll just take. The and what if I don't? Are you gonna give me a hundred dollars as well? Yeah. Then you definitely won't. Not no, that you would. I'm not agreeing to. Why would I agree to this? Well, if it's your last pair of shoes, what do you do? What do you have to lose? I have nothing to gain. There's nothing to gain from this. Where's the gain? Where's, where's the my gain? gain? Is you, the gain is that you're incentivized my not to spend money. The game your is word. you send money. You yeah, you no, save I money spend on money shoes. Spend on something else. <laughs> That's fine. You you can, but if you spend it on shoes. <laughs> I just want a hundred dollars. You know, I just, so I just gar it's guaranteed. You know, if he says yes. So. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's what I'm trying to go for here. This is uh this is the box of keycap. I have a better deal. The cost of the sneaker that you buy, you have to pay to me. For what? So what? Just, <laughs> just to give you money? Is that your challenge? Is you have to give me money? Is that the whole thing? So if you want to save money, you buy a cheaper shoe. So this is the <laughs> little, uh, the little boxer key. Nice. You can't really. I mean, it's tiny. But I'll. Uh, the the keyboard I'm going to put this on arrives in the next week, and then I'm done with keyboards. Not key sets, but keyboards. So uh, this is a little box of keys. So thank you for finally turning up with this. <laughs> These sold out Whoa. in how long? They're pretty quickly, right? Four minutes. Four minutes. Not bad. Not yeah, bad. How many seconds? That's awesome. So that's going to know. go on my Night Fox. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> yeah, I don't I feel know. I like it would sound cooler. It'd be like a cooler sounding statistic. If you like four minutes, four minutes and three seconds. Three seconds. But they sold out. I don't have those stats. And then like on average amount of sales per second. That'd be pretty sick. Um, anyway, a new map has begun. It's E United on Cobblestone on the CT side. We saw amazing things from them in the past on this map and the previous map. They looked quite sharp as well. So we can certainly expect more from that. Where that came from, even. Well, so far, not so good for E United. But very good for Luminosity. They can easily get themselves towards the A site now if they choose to do so, or more or less anywhere. They just need to go together. More or less. Go together, hold each other's hands. Hmm. But it's a big frag. Yeah, Stazzle poses a big threat from the flank. Oh, we hate to see that. Sometimes pistols just don't do anything. It feels like. Do you <laughs> yeah. know what I mean? Like sometimes it, you feel like you could not have possibly been more accurate if you. It's true. It, it's just like it just seems like there's some weird variance. I think a lot of it is. There's weird variant. There's a weird variance, but then you also get off to the wrong foot. So if you miss your first shot, which would would be accurate, yep. then you're kind of spamming while you're on their head, and then I feel like the recoil takes over, but you don't realize it. So it wasn't like the last big update. It made the first bullet accuracy a bit better, but then it, the gun was much worse on the consecutive shots. That like was much with the Glock. Just with the Glock. Yeah. Because I feel like it's the same with the USP as well. I don't know. It just feels different. I don't know. I think the thing is in CS:GO you can make your you can make everything so super sharp and small like your crosshair and stuff like that that doesn't really count uh, realistically for your inaccuracy. Well, we can come back to that. We're going to have a rush on the B bomb side here as the United side will defend with a multitude of pistols. There it is, the big flash. Although I feel like. Uh, Moose was close enough to hear the flash being deployed, so he could raise the alarm to his teammates, but Moose's one goes down almost facing the wall. Dapper won't last very long. Already in the red. And just like that, it's down to Dazzle. I do wonder if uh, like he's called all his guns Razzle or something like that. You he's know? got the <laughs> sports gloves. Uh, sports gloves vice is what they're called. Ah, okay. How much would you... I, I have an M9 bayonet uh, plain, like a plain M9 bayonet. Okay. That's what I use right now. I was looking at the new gloves, the Specialist Gloves Fade. They're the ones that say the to uh, tor Torte on Torte, Torte, yeah. Torte, they, they look nice. But the new ones are like $1,000. 
What's the oh What's the upper limit that you would spend on gloves? Because even these ones that are <clears throat> new are up there too. I guess the upper limit I would spend on gloves would be whatever my Crimson Weave gloves cost me. Um, which is that like close to the same or like a few hundred or? Um, I think it might be like six hundred dollars. Okay. I don't know. I'm gonna check if it's in my email. I think I could never bring myself to spend more than like thirty pounds. Skin. That's a good situation to be in, Dan. <laughs> I, I love a nice skin. So, yeah. I had a sapphire bayonet. It's like point zero zero nine. Yeah. I loved it. I didn't regret it, and then I sold it for like seventeen hundred dollars or something like that. I, I bought a howl for like I think seven hundred dollars, and I sold it for eleven hundred dollars. And if I kept it, you'd be it'd rich. Be worth like fifteen hundred dollars now. Yeah. It's only going up. Because. Contraband. But I had to let go, man. That's the And I sold my Dragon Lore as well. Are there any other contraband skins, or is it just a howl? It was just the one time the guy snuck the art. Oh, actually, I. Uh, was it the Tai Lu stickers? Because they didn't actually go to the major. Oh, they weren't yeah. contraband, though. Well, yeah, but they took them off the market. But they still existed for a few minutes. Yeah. But it's just the logo itself, which is cool. So it's just a howl then. Yeah, officially, I yeah. think. Damn. I wonder how many are in circulation. Well, they were duplicated for a while, so... Had a whole duping thing going on. Yeah. Actually, at one, one point, at one point, Flamey had a uh, AK Fire Serpent. And the one I had was exactly the same one as the one he had. We had the, literally like the same AK. How do you, how do you know it's the same? Because um, there was a website you could... You, you could look at your, your friend's inventories on and stuff like that. And um, I don't know, but I just for some somehow I saw that it was the same, it has the same like item name or something or whatever, oh. like code or whatever. I didn't know you could duplicate. But it doesn't have. Yeah, people would. Um, That's wild. People would scam themselves or something and say they'd been scammed. Oh and yeah, that's the, right. The, by the account they scammed had passed it on already, so they, yeah. That's right. So they and now Valve stopped doing back, that, so to speak. Yeah. That's why they brought down the price of Dragon Laws. You'd think they would just remove it from the account that they claim scammed them. <laughs> no, but they, but they transferred it onto another account. To a re what you would call an innocent party, so... Gotcha. Yeah. Anyway. Kids are creative. Buy round for United, and it will start with Dapper on a Mag 7. Not the most ideal situation for them, but we'll see if it, how it plays out. Because ultimately that's what matters, playing close to the crack in the wall. See what Luminosity like to do, choose to do rather. They like to play a uh, slow round here or there. Very much uh, not shy to do that. Yeah, it's actually been a good map for Luminosity in the past. No grenades left for United. Three flashbangs now. With over a minute left. Uh, that's a bad spot to be in. Asu with the AWP and Luminosity with a slow default here just clearing everything on the map that they can Relix is playing the APC I think it's, it's Dazzle is down mid below him indeed three players towards a long but no bomb that's not something that obviously United have any idea about just yet Luminosity are going to be leaving themselves with very little time here no matter what they end up doing at this point. And the bomb feels like it's so close to B that they'll commit towards B. They've left a lurk there forward and they long here. Nice by Nekis. He'll fall back to assist the main push towards B, but there's 20 seconds to go. And Asus at the end of the plateau with Norb. Oh, he misses the shot. Cello able to take him down. And that will clear the passage to the site. But it's not quite cleared all the way, but Cello is not done. Precision. Wow. There's quite a few ways this round could have gone wrong. This round ended up looking really good, but in reality, the fact that you have to face an AWPer like that and one-shot him like that, I mean, it just doesn't, that's not consistent. You're gonna lose that fight most of the time. I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah, it should have, it should have been able to kill him, but it was just like an insane shot. Imagine if you, like, if you lose that fight, like if the first guy dies. Oh, it's over, long B it's control, it's a mess. Yeah, then, the rotates then come in. The guy with the Mag 7, <laughs> He's he playing like drop, can hold drop or go broken wall if he really wants to, or just another position to cover drop. 
If the upper can kill other people, they're gonna be stopped. They don't have any nades left. It's like it's just the, the round is over. So So I guess the point I'm trying to make is that Luminosity really put themselves in an awful position yeah. at the end of that round. Yeah. But they had cello. Yeah. And that's counter strike. We can't be results oriented. We can't say that they did an amazing job just because they won the round with five players left. Eco Town. I feel like you can have a. You can be results oriented if you have a bigger sample, sample size. size. Yes. <laughs> Cheers, Dan. <laughs> so, uh, Molotov looks to be lined up to bounce to the uh, outer area, the E box. There is an electric box in there. So it's known as E-Box. If you're wondering what to call this at home. It's like, it's like how I call all boxes with anything electric in them, electric boxes in real life. Thank Computer. you for that, like what Computers. It, like I wonder, you know, I, I wonder really what it is. I, I do wonder what it is more specifically, because it's like... Do you? It's kind of a basic, basic call. Maybe so. we can get... Uh, to have a look at the box in more detail between yeah. routes. Yeah, we can do that. Nice push from Luminosity, they do clear things together. I mean, once you take the drop control and you get plateau, it's very hard to stop from the CT perspective. The split splits are so strong. And it will be pretty easy for them. One thing Tyloo that did that was pretty cool was they would let a team take drop and they would just throw two mollies down. And it's like once you've, if you used, you used a lot of utility to get in drop, you wouldn't have like a smoke left and you can't jump out or leave. <laughs> So you'd be standing in the fire. Fire. Well, the United are not enjoying the success they did on cash, that's for sure. Yeah. It's so rough when you don't get a, you don't get the economy at the beginning of Cobblestone. It's kind of like Inferno in that way. It's just like you really need like to actually make all the plays that you feel like you should be able to make. On the CT side, you need economy. Well, how about that? If you're an electrician, send tweets to Dan. Yeah, please. But only Dan. <laughs> Don't send them to me. I'll block you. <laughs> but if you want to talk to Dan That's like about a electricity, power lines. Because maybe it's a gas. Maybe it should be called gas bots. Even light bulbs. Well, th there, there appears to be a meter yeah. on the right-hand side. I'll say that much. Yeah. But are they gas or electricity? What do you make of these? They must be based on something in real life. Somebody out there knows. Someone out there knows. Someone, yeah, yeah. And Dan must have his answers. I, I really need the answers. Dazzle! Wow. We'll be frazzled. There you go, did it. No, yeah. you don't have to, James. I did yeah. one for the team. Okay, well, it's a very fast take of the A bomb site, and the follow up grenades are going to assure that this is just not even. You can't even entertain a retake here on the CT perspective. Such is the nature of cobblestone. If you lose a site straight away, it's basically over. Too much time for the post plant setups. They're just like running into ops and winning. Yeah, pretty <laughs> much. Yeah. Relics just got completely pieced. Yeah, it's kind of weird. We'll see how it, it goes. Uh, Jeez. As long as the United don't lose confidence, they they should be fine to get some rounds. Yeah, I mean, keep playing like this. That kind of thing can't happen again, really, uh, or over and over again. Yeah. So like I remember in um, like one of the lessons I had to learn when I was uh, a Quake player playing competitions way back when was that sometimes your opponent, even if they're doing stuff that maybe you think is, is stupid or exploitable, sometimes they just hit everything and so you can't, like, you, you can't do anything there. You yeah. have to like, just accept that you don't have to change anything. You have to accept that it, you're going to lose, don't change anything, they can't keep it up forever. Yeah. Sometimes they do. So <laughs> Sometimes they do. <laughs> Apart from the times they do. <laughs> but, but most of the time it's not... But it won't help, right, to change something. Exactly, yeah. It, yeah, it, it's it not really a solution. Overcompensating is, is never necessarily so a good spot. Sometimes to be. that's the hard part when you're on a team is because you have to have everybody kind of be on the same page about that. You know, yeah, it's, yeah. if one person gets nervous about it or starts to doubt, then it kind of messes with everyone's heads. Like People start to forget about you know, the specific circumstances that caused them to lose rounds in the past, so... It's important to, important to keep a context in your mind about what happened and why it happened. Yeah, yeah. I think I think there's definitely like a lot to be said for like how people sort of panic when they start to get into like a really bad emotional state because they they're losing and they want an immediate sort of gratifying 
solution to make them feel good again. Yeah. And that's often not going to be the right way to look at it. But that's what I would feel like about uh, Apex was when he would, if he didn't have a good start, yeah. he would start being very peaky, very aggressive, and yeah. sometimes I felt like that was like too many risks. But I, I think he emotion. just had a had a need to try to get going. Emotion, emotion-based counter strike. Yeah. You need to be emotionless like James. <laughs> you have to be evil like James. Evil. <laughs> well, emotionless and evil, okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. I'll take the emotionless, you know. I grew up on poker, so... James kills for no reason. I've got resting emotionless face. <laughs> resting emotionless face. Yeah, some people have resting bitch face. I just have resting emotionless face. Neck is pushing the smoke. He's brave. He's dead. <laughs> Whoa. That's a double thing. P250, man. Ooh, the whiteout with the G2. That's classy. That's n Yeah, that is nice. Miners versus pro stickers on it. Your whiteout. Mm hmm. Henry G. Yeah. Pasty whites. Out. <laughs> White is the bed sheets. PKL eliminated and the slow approach from Luminosity now will speed up towards the A site, but most of the numbers are towards B, so the question becomes, can they control these choke points? Can they stop Moose from getting out of the balcony? Maybe Moose doesn't need to, maybe Moose won't, he's dead. Two on two, Dazzle and Dapper. The double Ds heavily tagged at the moment. Dapper baiting for his teammate. Trying to create as much presence as possible, and you see to the right-hand side, Dazzle slowly creeps in, but are they ready for him? He hasn't got the kill. The bomb is planted. He doesn't have a kit. 19 HP, and that 19 will be taken away by Cello. 7-0 Luminosity. They are having a quite the game so far. Here it is. Push, push. Nice. Pat, pat. Love to see it. P250 is really awesome, really fun to use. What are the benefits like for P250 on the pistol What's round? That? What are the benefits for having a P250 on the pistol round? It'll almost double your one shot range over a, uh, a Glock. Over a Glock? Yeah, so the headshot range of a Glock, for example, if you went to the entrance of the plateau and somebody was by the box, you you have to, if you one shot them, the way if, you if, if you shot them in the head of a, uh, this, this range there, if you shot them in the head with a Glock, you wouldn't kill them. Yeah. However, if you had a P250, you would. Also, okay. Just as an example. I actually made a video with that exact example on my YouTube. Also, the armor penetration is really nice. The spread is pretty good. It's, it's it, it generally like has such good versatility, and the one shot is so so huge. That's why I like to just get two on a pistol round. I think it can be really useful. Kimbo. Um, I, I always, always, always buy a P250 in the pistol round, but no P250s yeah. here. It's all about the big guns. Yell taking down Ace, and I think he may have seen a second player. Got to be careful with these peaks. Yell not going to land that flick. Oh, man, he's ready, though. He's so ready for Moose. Luminosity with the 4v2 against the Orpers now. It's going to be pretty tough. Dapper's in position by the statue, and there's no immediate trade for him. He can actually play his position fairly effectively, but Luminosity, they've got time to go back, and that's what they're going to do, which makes sense. The only issue is that Relics could shut this down, but the flank is in. Chalo from drop. It's got its on lock. Huh. Um, yeah, that was that was good. Uh, good kill on the flank. It seemed like the rotate got called out immediately, though. Ends up working because they have the guy in the middle. They can pivot around. Another quick point about the PT50 is that having no Kevlar is less like doesn't mean as much when you're against the CTs I think mm -hmm. um, because the USPs on but I guess you know the armor I mean it's, it's it's not like a massive difference and if you have any ranges at all on your strat in the PT-50 like goes so far like if you go A on Mirage I think it's really 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 solid that's just, that's just me though so will the PT-50 one shot no armor at any distance? like if, if so if not yes, any distance no so if you're coming up the ramp or the pits on Mirage and there's a CT at toll booth, you'll one shot him. Okay, that's far enough. Yeah. That's, that's yeah. like, that's, yeah, that's the distance. It's and that's pretty why damn it's good distance. And it's more accurate so at that distance too, yeah. Yeah. 
I just uh, don't well, like the, the sound. Glock, the Glock had updated accuracy at long range, so I don't, I don't, I don't know if it's more accurate now. Um, but uh, it's better. It's better than it used to be because it there was some unreliability at uh, First bullet longer nuts. range, but it's better now. Yeah. Looks like they haven't spent too much money on this round. This is this is solid. I mean, this looks scary, right? They've got the op. They've got four CZs. He's really good at that pick. He's done it before. Yeah, yeah, I remember we commented about this uh, in the previous couple of they played. pre fires Could probably make that play blind with his eyes closed. With the bandana on his eyes. Flashed. What is that called when you, you, you know, blindfold? <laughs> <laughs> blindfold. <laughs> or a box on his head. Could be wearing one of those. Box his head. Trousers on his head. Shoe on head. Shoe on head. Shoe on head. That's be a pretty big shoe though if, you, if it, it's a block your vision. So. Can't just be putting shoes on heads. But it's time for pants on head action on the B plateau as they look to rush into that B bomb site. Asu. Asu. Ace backing off, unable to get anything done. Moose will get traded. Down to the three on three. Dapper waiting for the cross. There's a smoke grenade though for Nekis and some flashes. There's a first flash. He will not pull the trigger. But Luminosity is slowing it down. And that's a two there's a two-man flank going on in the meantime. Ah, oh, they boosted on the tree. A blind spot because of the scope, and they, they will abuse him. And take that sniper rifle away. I'm sure Yell. It will be collected for Yell. They will offer it. As tribute. There is Yell, and there is the AWP. Marvellous. The Unossi kind of doing what to United, what was done to them. Hell yeah, on map one between these two. This is looking really dominant. And a lot of it has just come down to them hitting the, their opening shots, and the CT side defense sort of, sort of like the domino effect after that. Yeah, I think at this point, they maybe have successfully taken some confidence away. Such a rough start. Moose very aggressive, but it seems to be silent. Cello doesn't realize. This is round winning stuff potentially, but there's a big engagement soon to, to be around the A long area where they have the bomb as well. Dazzle, first man, Ooh. second man going as well. Dazzle holding things very nicely. And Luminosity in a terrible spot. Oh. Hell! Ooh. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Lorders was ready for that one. The Foon. Will this be the first round for E United? There is a flank coming from the B bomb site, so E United could be very confident. Leave one person looking towards the drop, and it's Yell alone. He's fired a shot. They know where he is. No one needing to lurk near the drop anymore. They will surround him. They will take everything. Finally, E United have one round on the board, but it's the one round that stops y uh, Yell and Co making it to double figures, which means the Luminosity are still quite far away. Whoa! Dazzle went huge this round, though. Very good, like, confident, patient shooting. Didn't even go for the spray transfer, just readjusted. I mean, often that's, that's just, like, better, isn't it? Like, if you... I mean, if, if you've only fired, like, five bullets, you know, you might as well. I'm sure there's probably, like, an op optimal amount of, like, bullets fired. Like how much recovery time there then is, and so yeah. on and so forth. There's, there's got to be like this optimal amount of bullets fired. Yeah, that's a good but question. That's something like for three, uh, for Mr. Three Clicks Philip to find out. Mm -hmm. What is the optimal amount? But I guess that can be ambiguous as well can to a certain it? extent. Um, optimal amounts of what? So the so the amount of so obviously like we were discussing before about when you spray transfer, sometimes you don't need to. And sometimes you can just readjust. Obviously, if the recovery hasn't isn't too out of control because you've only fired X amount of bullets. Oh, that's a yeah. sloth squadron uh, question. Okay. Yeah, he's your man. Relics. Oh, spotted one. Taking down the second person though. Looking for the rotation. Keeping an eye on the wooden area. The wooded area. Wooded area. It's a wooden panel. Whatever. Wooded area. What do you think? It's the B-bomb site. 
PKL will plant the bomb, and it is uh, not a good situation for E United. My brother actually has a tree that big at the front of his house. What? What yeah. tree? Well, look at the tree on A or the tree on B. They're pretty big trees. Yeah. And he has a tree about that size. Actually, it's arguably bigger than that. More branches go down. It's a big tree. It is a big tree. It's just really at the front of his like front garden thing. It's a massive tree. You know what they say? Big Anyth tree, big house. Anything? Any, any points to add? Except that he just has a big tree. Big old tree. Is there, is there Countryside like of France. Some it's just an impressively large tree to be within a household it's that thick. isn't on on some kind of grounds or something. It's just this one massive tree. So you're not, you know, there's not some insight about it's life here tree. hidden in some. Why are you talking like a robot? <laughs> I'm trying to like work out <laughs> if, if what you said had any meaning whatsoever. <laughs> I'm telling you about my life and my family. That is enough meaning. I'm sharing that. I mean. I can say I've seen a door as big as that one time. A a door, you saw a door as big as a tree. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely. That's I how have. you get to Neverland. This I is I this have. is why I could talk about these things and you can't. <laughs> uh, well, okay. Anyway, <laughs> big rush into the B bomb site from Luminos the end. Not going too well here. They're getting stuck so far. I mean they didn't really split the defense here. They're just running into the b bomb site. They are managing to finally trade out some kills. They had a single player showtime moving through the drop zone position to try and do some damage, open things up a bit more. But at this point, it's about letting the dust settle. Let's just take stock of things. PKL still needs to get the bomb down off the plateau onto the bomb, planting spots around the statue. And showtime perhaps might be considering trying to work his way around the back. And here he goes, trying to drop down silently. That is not how you do it. I think he's trying to fake. Oh, okay. He's yeah, he jumped. Okay, he's it didn't make any sense, though. <laughs> 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 he didn't fall, but he jumped, so. Oh, you've got to, you've got to check that. That's a definitely a pre-fire spot. He gets a kill regardless. A nice swipe from oh. Dazzle. He's pretty good. Yeah, he's been going he's in. He's pretty good, guys. He's pretty damn good. That's a funny story. I actually met his brother yeah. before him at a party. And his bro uh, explained to his brother about Counter Strike, and that his brother is very good at Counter Strike. Ah, uh, yeah. oh right, really? Yeah. And but he had no frame of reference for Counter Strike. No, no frame of reference for Counter Strike. Did he know what it was? I think so. I think he knew. He just knew he played a lot. Oh, so he's the, the he's usual story, like, right? Yeah. So you're helping him. You're helping him dazzle out. You're like, what, what he does is actually pretty, pretty cool. Hard and pretty hard, pretty yeah. legit. He's actually very good. Well, this is a pretty interesting uh, uh, situation if you get the boost going in and the one for one trade straight away. Definitely not favorable for the CTs. No. Off angle, hard to check this spot when you have to check deep left and, and deep right as you emerge from the area. Dazzle has the M4A4, so he doesn't have the extra second given by a silenced M4 in that position. All of luminosity here. There's a pot flash, Dazzle Bly not firing the shot, falling off just in case. And he's got a pot flash of his own, which will be avoided by one, but caught by another. But he's the one to get caught by the gun of Nekiz. Relics looking to flank, doesn't know if long A is safe, it is, but he can't know that. Spots one, tries to transfer to a second, gets a kill anyway, and there is the third kill from Relics. Makes it look very easy wow. indeed. E United on the comeback, but can it last? PKL versus an AWP and an automatic shotgun. Wow. Relics is fired up. That was amazing target selection. And you could see, that is like really impressive because it's not just target selection. His initial target selection went wrong. And so he had to like reprioritize it in the middle of having good movement so that he can fight at all times and consistently just keeping tabs on every, like, what everyone's doing. That's really impressive. Yeah, pushing up against the wall to make sure he can't get killed while he takes the other fight. That's good. That was really sick. I was thinking to myself, you know, if he gets one or two kills, this could, this could work out, but he's killed everyone. That's nuts. Damn. That is, that's awesome. He is much better than a year ago when I last really saw That's him. what I'm thinking, too. Like much, much better. Much improved. That's so cool. Ooh, the long smoke. We've seen it from Luminosity before, and it suggests a fast play with long being completely abandoned. And Rex should, uh, good analyst, you should know that you're safe 
in this situation versus Luminosity, but they're going to back away. No kills yielded from the Brazilian side. And they will try to reset the situation. This really is deja vu from last game, isn't it? 10-0, ten, ten three rounds in a row. Looking at a fourth. United have spread out once again. So ironically, funnily enough, if Luminosity, look at the paranoia looking for T spawn flanks, but if they went back to A, it would be a lot easier than it might have been before. Although same could be said for the B bomb sites as well. Four players left. Dapper will hear at least two uh, sets of feet. Not sure if anybody's in the uh, drop area though. And indeed, after the presence shown towards B, They'll make a play back towards the A site where there'll be one and a half players. Second one in the connected position, but can he get to A in time? Well, Relics at the back of the bomb site. Ready and awaiting has been pretty good so far. This might be a bit tough though. Gets a tag. Oh, the second shot missed, and that's all he's going to get. So everything falling apart here for the United side. Luminosity, 11 rounds to the three. They are having quite the T side. Those really late A's make me uncomfortable because there's so much ground to clear, clear from the initial choke point to the bomb site, and there's so many spots he, uh, CT could stand in. I feel like there's a lot of chances for that to go wrong. It's kind of like going late outside on train. Um, I feel like it's very easy for rotators to get out into weird places. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely... Uh, still a push here, challenging Yelp and his orping abilities as they continue to try to light him up, but he will be surviving so far, not too much to worry about, but it's his teammates that have gone down instead. Three CTs across the map, a, an AK collected on Dazzle. Bomb still needs to make its way across, and Cello can be the man to secure that. There's no way that they anticipate his position, or maybe. Hmm. This is really interesting. This is a random. His move's gonna go all the way through for T spawn. Oh man. You can definitely start running now, surely. <laughs> like, <you laughs> for can, real. Yes, That's can, funny. So <laughs> okay, he's running. Okay. Uh oh. Ooh. The MP9 as well. This is the weirdest flank. Oh my god. We got flanks on flanks. And now they're so far away that if he shoots them and fails. Oh, that's the bomb though, so he has to shoot. Oh god. So awkward with the MP9. <laughs> They switch play this is trading places. Oh they picked the bomber. Oh must have fallen towards towards long. Is there a gun? Is there an AK somewhere? Can he get an AK? No, there's nothing. Oh dear. oh dear. If he had an AK you can definitely like his chances for this one, but the MP9 will have to do for now. Two players to worry about. <laughs> oh my god! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I was wondering if he could see his head there. Because he had the x-ray. Well, there we go. 12-3 half from Luminosity. 17-3. and three. Damn. Damn. Cello's aggression. His, like, some of his entries were nuts. Yeah. Like, just just walk out, tap an AWPer in the face. Just that is something he did more than once. United's turn to uh, maybe turn the screw. Relics with a smoke of a flash. No P250s in sight. Despite bite off wisdom. Ooh, we got matchmaking strats. Although maybe that changes things. This entire time Moose has been lurking towards the B bomb site, if I'm not mistaken. He has taken some damage though. And it's weird because if you have a lurker towards being in a round like this, why not have a P250? Because if they do uh, show some presence and duel with the guy on plateau, the guy on plateau has a significant advantage, as previously explained. Now Dapper's making plays towards the A bomb site, being spotted. So if he gets his kill, then what? He'll take a headshot through the wood, pulling a second player over. And now falling back with 12 HP. But still, no action on the plateau area. Cello, ooh, he'll take one in the face as well. But again, that range, he's still alive. Wow, okay, so there could be a chance here for some more damage. 
as the time is of the essence here for United. CTs are doing definitely a lot of work here. This is very doable as they start to push forwards, getting all the kills. And oh. Alex, one more to go. Glock. Can't quite find his target just yet. 27 health, no, 22 health, no armor at all, but he gets the headshot in instead. E United. Pistol rounds masters. Pretty damn good aimers. Wait, did they do the first pistol round? Yeah. Oh. So that speed was broken. Still good. Still good uh, overall. One player is disconnected, so we may have a short delay before we resume the proceedings. <coughs> now you wonder if United are going to have a, uh, a similar half to what we just saw from Luminosity. Dominance round after round. It's entirely possible, plausible perhaps. I, th I don't know if I got this backwards, but I think it was their T side which they had trouble on versus Renegade, so maybe not. United? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was their CT side that was impressive. Mm. Definitely not the, the T side. That said, their CT side there was not that impressive, uh, unfortunately for them. But this definitely looked quite good from Luminosity's perspective. I mean, th th there were some questionable rounds for me, the way that Luminosity played them out, um, but they got the results. So, can't argue with results. results. Yeah. <laughs> Except when you're not being results oriented. That's true. You need a big spectrum or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> spectrum or whatever, man, a disrespect. Disrespectrum. Spectrum. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, it's worse than my normal crap. <laughs> <laughs> Only because you, because when it's coming out of your mouth, James, you just that you don't register what is actually happening. It's just it's full of consciousness. All mouth and no ears. I'm just a beast. What can I say? JZF beast. What can I say? Please reconnect to the server. Who is it? Fast. You aren't uh, going to tell us about like the it's the moose. No, moose is there. Nope. The fact that you've seen a Porta Pui before at, at a festival or something. Oh well, no. Porta Pui is a standard at music festivals yeah. and uh, Catalina Port Island, not far from where we are. Porta Pui. Portapuis, yeah. Portaloos, as they are more commonly known. I've seen people climb over those to get into Glastonbury when it was sold out. Oh, we call, I call them porta parties. <coughs> someone's, someone's PC crashed. And because there was a, a CS update, because now the Negev is uh, gone from beta into the actual game, the new neg Negev. Oh, thank God. They've had to do rollback and all that kind of nonsense. Oh, look at the mountains. Holy and smokes. The, you know, it's almost Zelda. Hyrule. <laughs> There's a moat and all sorts. Did you know we were playing Hyrule all along? <laughs> How much time have you spent in Zelda? Zelda Zelda Land? Um, the first time, before I lost my Switch, I had about 100 hours. And this time, I think I can check actually. Let me see. It's been my plane mate. Although I've played it a lot at home as well. How do I see this? Let me, let me peruse. My first Zelda. I have all the, all the Zelda's on the Game Boy Advance now, even my lovely fake Minish cap all the way from Taiwan. Okay, so it says 165 hours or more. I think that combines the old Switch and the new Switch. So I've played 165 hours of Zelda. That's some pretty good value for money. Value. Good bang for buck. It is, yeah. Yeah. It is. Unlike the shoes. 15 hours or more of Splatoon. I heard that. <laughs> <laughs> he did say it in the mic. <coughs> Yeah, and dis dissing the shoes and going on a, a, f a, f a full frontal assault on the shoes. Mm. So this uh, may take a while to kind of handhold and get this chap to roll back his CS because of the update and so on. So uh, yeah, it might take a few minutes. So we might have to head to a break before this resumes while they fix it. But before we do that, look at look at the yellow souls. Even the soul is yellow. That's so awesome. Look, I've got two feet. There's the other one. Ooh. Marvelous. All right. We're going to go to a break. When we're back, more Counter-Strike. See you back here soon. So James, I uh, just got an email from Face It headquarters and uh, apparently there's loads of new merchandise from ECS and uh, they want us to make a promotional video. It's not about that life, Dan. I made a fan of stuff. You know, it's not all about getting paid. I think that's really sad.
Hey, kid. Yeah. Me? Yes, you. How would you like to win some face-it points? Face-it points? What are those? Face-it points are points you can collect playing on face-it or watching ECS. You can redeem those points to get items such as new skins, hardware, computer chairs, or a new car. A new car? That sounds like the bee's knees. It sure is, Timmy. Now run on home and start earning those points. Hey, Billy. Oh, holy mackerel, mister, you scared the jeepers out of me. How would you like to win some face-it points? Face-it points? I sure would. Well, just make sure you connect your YouTube account and face-it account and you'll be right as rain. Can I earn them without linking accounts? No can do, Billy. You'll have to link both accounts, but don't worry, linking them is easy as pie. Gee willikers, mister, thanks. No problem, Billy. This season of ECS, we are giving away 30 million Faceit points, so make sure your YouTube account is connected to your Faceit account.
Why's it always seem like I'm moving backwards? Caught up in a dream, everybody's acting. Why's it always seem like people change faces and nothing is real? I'm here, where endless meets the end Do you see me? I'm hidden here again Your whispers found its way Calling me to stay
Every day is a new dream. You got everything to lose. Every late night makes me lose my mind a little more. It's been long four weeks in the city, trying to teach myself to fly. Hoping one day you'll be rolling with me. Now you're gone. What could you do if your world came tumbling down? Tumbling down. What could you do if your world came tumbling down? Down, down on the ground. What could you do if your world came tumbling down? Tumbling down. What could you do if your world came tumbling down?
Welcome back to the show. Sometimes a CSGO update will break everything, and this is one of those times. But we are ready to resume the match now, finally. Uh, in the meantime, I've been putting my stickers on my laptops and things like that. Haven't got to the phone yet. We'll do that at home. But uh, yeah, the time was well spent, and here we are. So it's all of 1-0. Uh, this is the second half, so it is continuing. It I have to remind us what the score was in the first half, but 12-4. It was 12-4, so it is 12-5 uh, now. Okay, marvellous. So things will continue. We'll keep you abreast of what the overall score is. This is 12-4 now, yeah, because they just won the pistol, huh. so... That makes sense. That they makes just had sense. to reenact the first round oh. in the second half. Wow. Oh, 12-4, cool, cool. yeah, yeah, marvellous. Okay, cool. You got excited there, Dan. Yeah. Ooh. Didn't last very long, though. No. Story of your life. Story of your life, Dan. <laughs> Whoa. Boom. <laughs> it's just too easy. P PKL, Nekiz, also and Cello King with story. the pistols. Of his life. Are you, f are you quite finished, Launders? I was talking. I was trying to add on, but you kept going. United now moving back towards T spawn. They cannot buy any more. Right, they're going to walk from here. Okay. I respect that. It is a force buy after all, so the CTs could be anywhere. And they're respecting that by going all the way around. All the way. All of the way. Please go ahead. We are the supporting act, James. Back to you, James. Back to you. We're just the support. Walking is going on. Dan actually thought that these uh, these objects in the frames were two-dimensional at one point, but they are definitely three-dimensional. <coughs> Neck is... Does he let the first person go past? Did they check for him? The flashbang is there, but Dapper didn't check it properly. Or did he? Moose will take out the kill. Cello taken down from long range, and uh, maybe it is Christ averted after all. Looking for that 12-5 RE United. They will continue on their merry way. So United were saying on Twitter, Launders, that they prefer your shoes to mine. Yeah. They can prefer your shoes to mine as long as they respect my shoes. Maybe they don't have enough swag to wear Wu-Tang shoes. But I do. And I will. That's true. Are they Wu-Tang shoes? Well, they're, well, they're, they're black and yellow. They're not literally Wu Tang shoes. <laughs> Wu Tang. Wu. I mean, you could say they're Dignitas shoes. You could say they're Wiz Khalifa shoes. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bumblebees. Yes. Well, let's do some math. So it's twelve. It was twelve rounds for luminosity. Correct? Twelve five. <laughs> so it's twelve five now. Brilliant. Well, it's going to be hard for us to keep track. We are not mathematicians over You say here. we, you mean you. Some of us. 12-5 then. That's what the score is. Okay, nice. <laughs> the score is 12-5. Just in case you forgot since the last time we, uh, we mentioned this. Ooh, that MAC-10 goes nicely with the gloves. Marvellous. I wish I even remembered how much I bought those gloves for. But uh, probably it's best I forget anyway. Well, Cello King kicks things off in the right direction for his team. And Dazzle will try to do the same with this MAC-10. But uh, he too many man. Moose, they line up for him. And he and Relics will take the kills. Although this is still winnable. Well, yeah, we rang the bell, but not of the right player. Relics would have been gone. So United will survive and get round number six on the board. 12 to 6 is the current score as Luminosity move into the buy round. Cello with 44.50 will buy an M4. No AWP for Yell. That is never the start you want. Interestingly, four M4A4s for Luminosity. Saw a, a resurgence in Europe from the odd team here or there, or what seemed to be a resurgence of the, uh, the silenced M4. However, M4A4 still seems to prevail in terms of popularity. Phase starting to pick up some silence and fours. Yeah, also with that to phase versus phase pro. Mm. Existence used to, before it, the the fire f the fire rate was nerfed, he used to pick up a silence and four on the T side. Maybe we'll see him do it again in a few months from now. 
Existence, Shocks, Smiths, Taco, and Bardolf. Let's go. Only three flashbangs left on Luminosity. They're going to go aggressive on B-Fatto. And it's going to work out lovely. It's tough. A very common boost to do because of that, because of the smoke that goes down, because the mollies that land at your feet. But it's a nice angle to hold pushes from. But everything that gets done and gets telegraphed is a lot weaker for that reason, no matter how good it was. This is a great angle, too. So we're not see looking to close things down here. The final push comes in. The hold is pretty solid. No one dead yet for Luminosity. Looking for that 13-5 scoreline. Should they win this round, which they are definitely going to. There's no way that Esu can do anything. This is some, that was a really solid setup on both sides. The way they got information was super safe. And um, how could you predict someone would be up on the wall? The only thing that breaks it, obviously, is, is if they come up lower mid. Why are you smiling so much, Dust? Because it's, it's cause I said Big two, 35 three grand. is 36. Oh. Win. And there is the round for Luminosity. So now it's 136. Yes. Marvelous. <laughs> that wasn't a question, by the way. I'm just declaring the current score. Okay, clear that up, move on, move on, move on. Why are those, oh, Why are the, what? the flashbang has moved over more because he doesn't have another sidearm icon, but it's moved out more, which is even weirder. Oh yeah, that's, that's that strange. It is very unusual. Triggered. Well, we get an exchange of frags there. Four versus four, the bomb is down here for United <laughs> still. They're looking for an additional uh, peak or something similar on B plateau, but nothing yet. They've got no presence towards A either. And Luminosity are playing 1 3, the 3 being B. And this may just be a contact B, basically, from this point forward. They are starting to make their way down with the AWP leading the way. Really important to molly those stairs. And that's a big tell, though. Cello is so ready for this. Let's get blinded, though, and it's actually going to pay off initially. The trades come out as a 2v2 with the bomb. Uh, able to make its way down to the site now, but Dazzle will expect the angle. He will not. Dapper is in a hard position. It's quite the predicament. Ooh, oh. Dapper! Yeah, oh, almost. I. That was close. That was clean. That was like he barely touched his mouse. You yeah. know, the light tap. It was in the end a good hold from Luminosity. 14 rounds for them. 14 6. Well done. Thank you. Thank you very much. 14 to 6. Lots of beep in the chat. See what's going on. I want to see. I want to see. Show me. You don't want to see. I want to know. You, I don't want to know. If you're playing me, keep it on a low. La la la. <laughs> Thank you, Dad. Almost there, or are we? United might be on the road for a comeback, but perhaps not in this round. Right then. Yeah, it's pretty tough. I mean, Mac 10 sees that. Like, definitely thinking double Mac 10, in fact. Definitely thinking about the drop zone. Uh, I, I guess you can always try to make fast plays towards middle, but they've gone towards B here. No one's actually. Is anyone towards the drop? It doesn't really. The one, okay, they've got one guy on the drop. Have you united? It's Dazzle. This is going to be so difficult, honestly, with this the weaponry that they have. They're going to have to have perfect flashes coming out of the broken wall. They're going to have, have to close the distance very quickly. Nekis, good position. Has evaded most of the grenades. Could find quite the timing here. Jumping just as they start to make their way forwards, and he will get taken out for that. Not going to be good timing for him as the rest of the team start to barrel into that A and B bomb site. And it's, they've, they're actually on the site, but they will be denied by the grenade work of Luminosity as Relix is the last man standing. Is the Molotov deployed in the direction of the bomb site? They move together. Showtime checking for a flank. And he's behind a tree. He's a high health player. Maybe spotted now. 
Has he got the trade in him? He has. Relic's going for the spray transfer, but not quite hitting the mark on this occasion. And that is 15. It's crazy. 15 to 6. Did he kill Showtime there with the, with the transfer? If that transfer was good, the last player had like 20 health. Did he see him at, so, at Rock? Because um, it seemed like he was transferred very fast. Like He He seemed to have the info. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. Show some. I did wonder if he was visible in the gap between the rock and the tree, but then he just stopped moving backwards and exposing half or more of his body. So we're at match points now for Luminosity United Force to Force. Again, this is the second half. It is 15 to 3. Score is off key because of uh, the CSGO update breaking everything, as it sometimes does. Good thing good thing you fixed it, James. Thank Indeed, you, James. Yeah. You got in there, you fixed everything. Yeah, yeah, because AFK had to do it myself. Yeah. <laughs> Three back tens and relics on the CZ after all that nice aim work. Maybe he can do yet more with the CZ 75. Ace on the scout. Whoa, just closed the knife on my hand. <coughs> Sorry. That's really bad. Oh my god. That is a sharp knife. <laughs> yeah, knife is sharp. <laughs> yeah, I've got a big cut in my finger now. Oh. Showtime gonna kick things off, stopping, shutting down the push towards the A site or trying to. Cello's been taken down in the meantime. There's Yell. So maybe there are some weapons to be upgraded oh! by what oh, remains, no. and it's not much that remains. It's relics on his own to spray through the wall, and that is going to be that. I believe that the game is over, and my finger is definitely bleeding. 16 GG. to 6 for Luminosity. Got there in the end. He didn't even draw first blood, James, because. Things people already died at that point. What is the meaning of this? Why are you cutting yourself? It was a mistake. You got a good. I didn't realize it was just just closed really fast and yeah. Oh You've got to learn some knife skills, James. To learn those knife skills. Well, that was a uh, solid game from Luminosity in the end. It was a long break, so not for all of the previous rounds, but um, it was quite a story, and it's uh, a good answer perhaps. Yeah, I mean, Luminosity, we saw that they had a really strong T side. I think some of the, the moves that they made were questionable in the way that they in the way that they actually got some of the rounds, but it was the likes of Cello, uh, who actually just walked in. It was like one tapping off Orpers right and left, and it, it just, I mean, that, just that, was, that was it, really. That was the most impressive thing about their T side, was him just owning everyone. Yeah, it was good stuff. Um, and that's going to be the last game of North America. Just two games today. But again, we've got three more days in a row of Counter-Strike coming your way. And uh, now we can take a look at the leaderboard and see what the implications of these are early on. So Luminosity, they are 1-4-1. One one, and uh, their opponent, e United, 1-3 for three at the moment. But again, there are 18 matches to play per team in this league. So lots more Counter-Strike to come. But that's going to bring today's Counter-Strike to a close. I'm going to get a Band-Aid for my finger and uh, maybe play some CS as well. Thank you for all being here today, and we will all be back tomorrow <laughs> for more Counter-Strike. See you then.